Hello, new Apple Times here, welcome to a new video and today I have here my iPhone 5S and my friend's iPhone 5S and these ones are actually running iOS 12 and this one's running iOS 11.4.1 so we're going to compare them both and see if it's worth updating to iOS 12 on your iPhone 5S Ok, so currently they are turned off so we're gonna start by turning them off One, two. And let's see which one boots up faster. Okay, so the iPhone, the iOS 11.1 at about 33 seconds, and iOS 12 at about 37. So a bit faster there on iOS 11. Okay, so now we're going to open the app switcher. And that was pretty much the same. And close it. Now we'll go to settings. A little bit faster on iOS 12. Go to general pretty much the same and so we're update and they're both up to date so that's great okay now we're going to ask Siri a question is it hot today? Hot it seems hot to me okay so a little bit faster on iOS 12 both of loading Siri and answering the question so that's good now we will go to weather app and a little bit faster in the iPhone uh, with iOS 12 and now we will open the App Store which is our web-based app so one two and actually faster on the iOS 11 so yeah now poke, uh, we will open Super Mario Run one two and these ones will take a little while because loading heavy applications is in the iPhone 5S strong point and faster again on iOS 11 let's see which one finishes loading faster iOS 11 again okay so <laughs> quite a surprise here and next we will open Safari pretty much the same and navigate to our website. Okay, so we'll go to 941 News website. One, two. And a little bit before in iOS 11, but pretty much the same, not a big difference. Okay, so now we're going to try to unlock it. So using Touch ID on both. One, two. And Tiny bit faster, iOS 12, try again. Now this one was a lot faster than iOS 12. And now we'll open the camera here. iOS 12 was a little bit faster, not much. Try again. And iOS 12 again. And lastly we will do some benchmarks. We have Geekbench. and run a CPU benchmark ok so benchmarks just finished and as you can see on the single core the iOS 12 one is a little bit higher and so is on the multi core but not a great difference actually so yeah now we will run an Antutu benchmark and see what we get Ok, so the just finished. This one actually froze <laughs> while doing it, so we had to do it again. And yes, just like in Geekbench, the scores are pretty similar. And yeah, a little bit bigger in iOS 12, but not that much. And to finish, we're going to run a speed test, a Wi-Fi network speed test. And we will tap go. These are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And for some reason, there is a lot of difference. I don't know why, but a lot of difference. This is quite weird. And yeah, actually the 5S finished a little before. So yeah, this was everything I wanted to test with these iPhones. Overall the iOS 11 was faster in some tasks, but iOS 12 was faster in others. So pretty much pretty even. Okay, so as you saw, Pretty much they are the same, even iOS 11 wins in many of the tests, actually iOS 12 just won in the Siri test and yeah, 
pretty much that's it. Opening the settings up and yeah, pretty much that's everything. So yeah, Apple really said that they were optimizing it and making iOS 12 more usable for older devices. It's part of their strategy to stop mining all of uh, the Earth resources and keeping the old devices more mm, more available, more in time. But yeah, actually with the iPhone 5S it looks like it wasn't the case because it's really well... I mean, in 11.4 it's, yeah, it's more or less okay. iOS 11.0 was a pain and <laughs> that was actually my my phone when iOS 11.0 was live and it was pretty much unusable and yeah iOS 11.4 just got a little bit better and iOS 12 was supposed to be a before and after but actually it isn't so yeah my personal recommendation is update because it's pretty much the same performance it's not getting slower and you get all the new features Thank you very much for watching this video, if you like please thumbs up and subscribe down below for more weekly Apple related content and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you'll be able to participate in polls and decide on the content I post. So yeah, this was everything I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.